presenting Asha to be married. I do. Thank you. Step forward, Stephen, and give her your left arm. Thank you. Okay, that's good. And you may be seated. You come right up here, sir. What a beautiful afternoon as we gather together in the presence of God as you, Stephen, and Asha establish a new and beautiful relationship together. Marriage, it's a very special time. And today is that very special day and moment of time in your life that you have the honor and the privilege of making a commitment of yourself to the person that you love. One should never forget, though, in the very beginning of time, God created the world, and his last and ultimate creation was man. And when God looked at man, Stephen, he said there's something that is missing. And so from the side of man, God made woman to be his companion and helpmate. For God said, it's not good for man to be alone. God knew what he was doing when he made for man a companion. And God knows what he's doing to bring you two together to share your lives one with another. One doesn't always realize it, but before God created woman from the side of man, man was incomplete. But upon that creation, man became complete, and they became a unit. They became a fellowship. They became a relationship. And God expected that relationship to do three things, to grow, to be strong, and to be beautiful. Therefore, God gave to man the ability to love and to receive love. And it's in the giving and receiving of love that a relationship grows and becomes strong and beautiful. Now stop and think back to that first moment of time when you first felt like you were in love with that person you're standing beside him. And from that time till right now, can you see how your relationship already has been growing? Now don't stop thinking yet. Just kind of begin to imagine and do a little bit of dreaming as to how much bigger and stronger and beautiful your relationship is going to become if you'll just keep doing the things that you're doing already. Never forget, God expects your relationship to grow, be strong, and to be beautiful. So give a lot of love and receive a lot. For the more you give and receive, the more your relationship will grow. But anything that grows to be beautiful must be cultivated. So do a lot of cultivating. And anything that's cultivated, you'll find that it grows weeds sometimes. Pull the weeds. Don't let the weeds destroy a beautiful, strong relationship that has potential. God ordained a marriage as a sacred and intimate commitment. Are you willing to make that kind of a commitment of your life today to the one you love? If so, say, I am. I am. Then I'd ask you to face each other, please. And Asha, let me hold your flowers. And Stephen, would you hold Asha's hands? Look at those hands that you're holding. For those hands are loving, caring, and tender. And at this very moment, Asha has placed her hands in yours as a symbol of giving. Asha's giving you her life, her love, and her devotion. For she's chosen you to be that man in her life that she wants to share her life with. Do you promise to Asha your undivided love and devotion? I do. Then repeat after me. I, Stephen, take you, Asha. I, Stephen, take you, Asha. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To love you, honor you, and respect you. To love you, honor you, and respect you. And to be faithful to you. And to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Asha, would you hold Stephen's hands? Look at those hands that you're holding. For Stephen is giving to you and you alone one of life's richest and noblest treasures. He's giving you his life, love, and devotion. For he's chosen you to be that very special lady in his life that he wants to spend his life with. Do you promise to Stephen? your undivided love and devotion? I do. Then repeat after me. I, Asha, take you, Stephen. I, Asha, take you, Stephen. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To love you, honor you, and respect you. 
to love you, honor, and respect you. And to be faithful to you. And to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now those vows that you've just shared with each other, those vows are sacred and intimate between you. Be faithful to those vows as long as you both shall live. If you're faithful to those vows, your lives will be full of joy and happiness and the deepest of satisfaction. But don't forget now, vows don't eliminate disappointment or a few small problems. You might have some of those once in a while. But I call that small stuff when I compare it to the big stuff, which is your love, your devotion, and your commitment one to another. You're exchanging rings today. May I have those rings? The rings that I hold in my hand, these rings are only but symbols. But when they're worn, they will identify you as belonging to someone. But it's my prayer that when one looks upon your fingers, that they recognize before that you belong one to another by your love, your care, your devotion, and your concern. The rings, notice, have no end to them, for they're symbols of harmony, unity, and longevity. And it's my prayer that your relationship would be in harmony and in unity as long as you both shall live. They're made from precious metal for their symbols of purity. Keep your relationship purer and finer. Notice, Stephen, how that outer ring surrounds that smaller ring. I identify that as the provider and the protector. Take good care of that lady. The inner ring is which I identify as the comforter and the supporter. That's kind of a woman thing, you know, Asha. Be a good comforter. Be a good supporter. Stephen, would you take Asha's rings and place on her finger? I place this ring on your finger. I place this ring on your finger. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and devotion. Of my love and devotion. You can help him, Asha. I place this ring on your finger. I place this ring on your finger. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and my devotion. Of my love and devotion. Now place your ring fingered hands on mine so I can see those rings. As I look on those hands, I notice two things. First of all, Stephen, notice where your hand is. Take a good look because it might be the last time you have the upper hand for a while. <laughs> Those rings are beautiful, and those rings are valuable. But my prayer is that as the rings lose their value and lose their beauty, that your relationship will grow and increase in value and in beauty. Now let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, as Stephen and Asha have made commitments of their lives before you and family and friends, I pray your blessings on them. Give them a long, beautiful relationship. Amen. Amen. And that gives me great pleasure on this 10th day of August at the Chapel of the Fountain in Las Vegas, Nevada, to pronounce you, Stephen and Asha, husband and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your wife. All right.